Oh my god everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video we're going to be learning a lot, but before we continue with the video as it's very useful for the channel to grow, if you hit that like button, you hit that subscribe button and turn on those notifications. So we're for you ado, guys, let's begin. <laughs> God. Hello guys, welcome back to today's video in which we're going to be solving a practice of equations with variables on both sides. So let's begin. So guys, the basic key in order to solve these problems is basically remembering that whenever you have variables on two sides, the only thing that you actually have to do is that all the variables, everything that has letters, you're going to move it to the left side or the right side, and then you move everything that is a coefficient to the other side. So let's try moving everything that has a letter to the left side and everything that has a number to the right side of the equal sign. So 70, right, is a plus 70. So because it's adding, whenever we move it to the other side, it's going to get a subtraction. So minus 70, right? Now we have plus 6j minus 8j. We're going to leave them like they are for now. And then plus 5, we're going to move it to the right side. So minus 5. 25, we're going to leave it like it is because it's already on the right side. And then 2j and 3j, we're going to move it, move them to the left side. So minus 2j and plus 3j. So notice that whenever I move um, numbers or variables to the other side, I have to change the sign, right? So if it's adding, it's subtracting. And whenever something is multiplying, we have to divide and vice versa. So in this case, we have 6j minus 8j minus 2j plus 3j. Again, they are all like terms because they all have the same variable. So 6 minus 8, that's minus 2. Minus 2 and minus 2 is minus 4. And minus 4 plus 3 is minus 1. So minus 1j is going to be equal to. And then on the right side, we have minus 70 minus 5 plus 25. And that is going to be minus 50. Now, because we have a minus 1 multiplying the j, and I want the j alone, I know that I have to divide by the minus, minus 1. So 50 negative divided by negative 1 is going to be positive 50. And that is going to be your answer. Now let's try the next problem. So in the next problem, we have the same thing. We have something with x, and we have a coefficient, which is a number. And on the right side, we have something with x and a coefficient, which is a number. So let's try moving everything that has a variable to one side. Let's try it to the right side this time. And everything that has a number or a is a coefficient to the left side. Okay, so this minus 2, we're going to move it to the right side of the equal sign. So plus 2 divided by 5x. The 3 is going to stay the same. Then this one is going to um, stay the same plus two thirds of x and this coefficient we're going to move it to the left side so minus one third so again it's the same logic minus one third uh, plus three we can say that is three divided by one so we take the common denominator which is three three divided by three one multiplied by minus one is minus one three divided by one is three plus times 3 is 9 and that is going to be equal to and then the greatest common denominator on the right is going to be 15 so 15 divided by 5 is 3 3 times 2x that's 6x 15 divided by 3 is 5 5 times 2x is 10x correct so you have to remember how to solve homogeneous fractions now minus 1 plus 9 that's plus 8 divided by 3 and that is equal to 16x divided by 
15. Okay. Now, again, we want to solve that value of x. So we want to isolate that value of x. In order to do that, first we have the 15 here, and we're going to move it to the left side. Because it's dividing, it's going to be multiplying. So 8 times 15 divided by 3 is equal to 16 times x. So again, 8 times 15 divided by 3, that is going to be 40 equals 16x. But again, we do not want 16x. We want x alone. So that 16 is multiplying. Now it's going to pass dividing. So it's going to be 14 divided by 16, and that is going to be 5 half, or 2.5 if we want to express it as a decimal. And that is going to be your answer. Let's go to the next problem. The next problem has a lot of decimals. Okay, so now guys, the same thing. Anything that has a letter, we're gonna move it to one side, and everything that is a coefficient or that is a number, we're gonna move it to the other side. Okay, so in this case, we have we're going to move all the letters to the left side and all the numbers to the right side. So negative 2.6b is going to stay the same. Then it, we're going to move this positive 4 to the right. So now it's going to be a negative 4. Then that plus 0.5b is going to become negative when we move it to the left side. Remember, changing the signs and minus 17. So now we have 2.5, 2.6, and 0 0.9 when we add them. That's going to be negative and negative. It's going to be negative 3.5b. And then we're going to have minus 17 minus 4, which is minus 21. But we don't want minus 3.5b. We want b alone. So this 3.5 negative is going to be dividing whenever we pass it to the right side. So we have minus 21 divided by negative 3.5, and that is going to be negative divided by negative, that's positive, and the answer is going to be 6 whenever you do that division. So the value of b is equal to 6, and now you have found your answer. Now let's take a look at the last problem. So the last problem over here, we are going to do the same thing. So this term and this term are going to stay here because let's say that we want to... So these two terms are going to stay here and then this one is going to move. So we have minus 4.5y minus 3.2y minus 5.6y is equal to 42.80 and then negative 36. Because that's 36, I'm just going to move it to the right side. And because I move it, I have to subtract it. So minus 4.5 minus 3.2 minus 5.6 is going to give us a total of minus 13.3 times the value of y. And on the right side, we have 42.80 minus 96, which is going to give us a value of minus 53.2. Now, because we want to isolate the value of y, we're just going to pass the other numbers that are next to him, multiplying it to the right side, dividing, right? So negative divided by negative is going to be positive. And then 53.2 divided by 13.3 is going to give us the answer of plus 4. And that is going to be our answer for y. And that's how you solve the system of equations with variables on both sides. So make sure that you move every number to one side and everything that has a variable or a coefficient um, to a different side, right? So variables and letters to one side we just are working with one variable. So everything that has a variable to one side and everything that has a number to the other side. Then you simplify and then whenever you have something next to the variable, 
if it's under the variable, it is dividing it. So you have to pass multiplying. And whenever you have something multiplying it, so next to it, you're going to pass it dividing. And that's pretty much it, guys. So feel free to redo these problems. It's very, very important that you practice. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys. Check out these other videos to improve your math skills. And make sure you click that subscribe button to make the community grow. Follow Omath God in its social media accounts. Drop a like, a comment below, and see you on the next one. Bye.